All right, everyone, so in the last video, we talked about what I'm doing to expand my mandible to correct the cross bite created by the MSC. And mostly what we talked about was my left side because I had asymmetric expansion with the MSC, which means the MSC expanded my left side upper more than my right side upper. And when this happens, when you have asymmetric MSE expansion, it really complicates your options for expanding the mandible following MSE treatment. Quick background, the MSE, the maxillary skeletal expander, expands the maxilla, but not the mandible. And the mandible does not magically grow by itself following MSE expansion or any other type of expansion. If you start MSE treatment and your upper is basically even with your lower, and then you expand your upper, you're going to have to then do something to correct the cross bite created by the MSE appliance. Now, in my opinion, the ideal solution for correcting a cross bite caused by MSE would be the MSDO. And this is, this is assuming you expanded so much with the MSE that you can't just correct the occlusion um, by torquing the upper teeth lingually and torquing the lower teeth buccally. Which means, you know, if you only expand a few millimeters with the MSE and it's even expansion, all you really need to do to correct the crossbite is to take the upper teeth, bend them in toward the tongue, and then take the lower teeth, bend them out toward the cheeks, and that might be enough to bring you back into a good bite. Okay, now if you really expand wide with the, with the MSE, you can't just correct it by torquing teeth. You're going to need to do something more substantial that's going to allow you to get a little bit more expansion on that lower because you expanded so much with the MSE. I believe the MSDO is the ideal treatment for expanding the mandible following the MSE. Why? Why? Because the MSE changes the bone structure of your midface. It adds volume to your cheeks. And I believe, and I think you can see this in my case, I believe that <clears throat> the, the aesthetic that results from expanding the midface with MSE but not expanding the mandibular bones, I believe it results in a kind of top heavy aesthetic where the mid part of your face seems a little bit ballooned in relation to the mandible. And I think you can see this in me. And so I think the MSDO, by splitting, quick background, MSDO, mandibular symphysial distraction osteogenesis, splits the mandible in half and then expands it like this. So it expands the bone of the mandible. And so this bone-borne expansion of the mandible, I believe, would probably be a nice would contribute to a nice aesthetic balance between the upper and the lower following MSE expansion. However, if you have asymmetric expansion with the MSE like I did, then the MSDO is not an elegant solution for expanding the mandible. Why? Because the MSDO is, an, is a symmetric expansion. It is guaranteed symmetric. So the reason the MSE can often cause asymmetric expansion is because the maxilla is connected to all the other bones in your cranium and it's possible that you have more tension in one side of your cranium than the other and so when the maxilla is splitting one side might put up more resistance than the other side and the side that's putting up more resistance is going to be like a wall and then the other side will just push off of it and expand more like what well, like what happened with me but the mandible with the MSDO procedure, there's no surrounding structure that's gonna force one side to expand more than the other. You're gonna split that mandible and it's gonna expand evenly. But if you've already got a situation like me where your upper left is expanded more than your upper right and then you expand with MSDO, you're just gonna create a new asymmetry. You're gonna create a new cross bite. So what do I mean? So right now my upper left is, is wider than my lower left. If I use MSDO, yeah, it'll correct the crossbite on the left side. But my upper right right now is pretty much even with my lower right. 
And so if I do MSDO, then my lower right will become wider than my upper right. So I corrected one crossbite on the left, but then I created a new crossbite on the right. So in a way, I'm back to square one. You see? You see the problem that asymmetry in MSE expansion causes? It makes it so you can't do MSDO. What you end up having to do is basically what I'm doing, which is I'm using Invisalign to correct the crossbite. Why? Because Invisalign can be programmed to be asymmetric just like the existing crossbite. I only need to expand the lower left and the Invisalign trays through the 3D printing software, through the ClinCheck it's called, can be programmed to expand only the lower left side. So, <clears throat> you know, this just, this, this really, well, what, really what I'm saying is it's nice to get a symmetric MSE expansion and I didn't get that. And it kind of sucks when you don't because you lose MSDO as an option for correcting the crossbite. And I believe MSDO is a good option because it's bone borne. You don't have to fuss around with moving teeth, right? Which is inherently more stable. Bone borne expansion is always more stable than tooth borne expansion. And then even more so, the MSDO, I believe, is a good aesthetic complement to the MSE. It prevents that top heavy aesthetic, which I believe I have a little bit of, which results from expanding the mid face with the MSE, but not expanding the mandible to follow. So something for y'all to think about. Okay. All right, everyone, that's it for today. And I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Peace.